Claire, Claire Booth Luce, famous writer, author, playwright, and later ambassador to Italy, was famously asked while she was serving as editor of Vanity Fair magazine, what makes a good editor? Claire responded that a good editor sees the trends, follows the trends, and then finds people to write about the trends and the story instead of writing about what they want to write about. Welcome to this special edition of Coffee Hour. I'm Stanley Smith. You know, on Coffee Hour, we have lots of things we want to talk about, but at the same time, we do see trends and hear emerging themes, and we do take note of that. And one reoccurring theme, which I've been following the last couple of weeks, is the, the theme and topic of the communion. A couple of weeks ago, we had John Tegas from Patriot Pub, and John shared his experience in Virginia, turning that state around politically, just to find out that absolutely nothing changed there. He was a little disheartened by that, and at the same time wants to encourage us to continue, continue to pursue uh, positive change where, wherever and whenever we can. But John offered his takeaway of the experience was that all we can really do at this time is be in communion with each other. And he literally is asking us to gather in small groups around the table and take the bread and pass the cup and be in communion. So uh, that was interesting. Also last week on Sunday coffee hour, the topic of communion came up, surprisingly so, and a uh, discussion about what it means. Is it a symbol? If it is a symbol, what does it symbolize? And if it's really something, what is the real something? So in this special edition of Coffee Hour today, I'm going to exemplify the communion. Starting off with the, with the creation, God has created everything. He's created us, he's created life, he's created, created this entirely earthly realm that we live on, and he's offered, to, offered it to us completely. He's given us life itself. God, in similar manner, has also poured out his life for us as an example of what we're called to do in this lifetime, literally pouring our lives out for ourselves and for God. And in the process of partaking in communion together, we're exemplifying the idea that we're God's family. In this earthly life, we, we're not able to choose our, our family, but God has chosen us as, as his family. And the name of this family is humanity. God is calling us to see the humanity in ourselves and in one another. We don't have a lot to offer God in return for all that he's given us, but we have something that we are in fact giving back to God, whether we know it or not, and whether we're active participants in it or not, we are literally pouring our lives out for God and for each other every day of our lives. Uh, later in the life of Claire Booth Luce, she remarked that she felt that she was occupying a, a persona of herself which no longer existed. And in a way, she was a shadow of herself and perhaps a shell of her former self that she was occupying and nonetheless and carried on. Um, during the pandemic, I'm, I'm not a, a film watcher. I'm really not into watching current popular culture, but my brother insisted that my mother and I watch the film Don't Look Up, which was which about the end of the world and the pending disaster of the earth being struck, struck by an asteroid. And it was a really bad film. It wasn't a bad film because it was about the end of the world. It was a bad film because it was poorly acted. The script was kind of thin and it was a, it was a comedy in spite of the fact that it was trying to be a comedy. But the thing that I was struck with was at the end of the film when the, the world was, was literally ending, um, the protagonist of the film, the scientist, his answer to that was to simply sit down with his family around the table and break bread and pass the cup as the, as the table began to shake and the walls began to tremble as the world literally disintegrated around them. The Jehovah Witnesses believed that the world was going to come to an end in 1917. And when that didn't happen, they were maligned and ridiculed. But I think looking back, we could, we could see that, well, <laughs> perhaps the world did end 100 plus years ago. And we've 
we've simply just been occupying the, the empty shell of the world and the persona that, that no longer exists. Whether you believe that or not, I think all of us can believe um, that we're in very troubled times. And because of that, perhaps the answer is, the only answer is sitting down with each other in communion, whether you're Demo Democrat, Republican, vaccinated or unvaccinated, we all need to sit down with each other, take the bread and pass the cup, see the humanity in yourself and recognize the humanity in each other and share the love. If you would like to learn more about joining us at Coffee Hour, Coffee Hours take place on Saturday mornings, uh, Sunday at noon after church and on Monday evenings. I will include my email in the description of this video. I'll be happy to send you an invite and I truly look forward to seeing you soon and being in communion with you very, very soon.